Hey everyone and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Origins. On this video we're going to be doing the side quest, Playing with Fire. General Agrippa is forcing Egyptians to work on a weapon of fiery destruction at the Citadel. And somehow the Roman engineer Vitruvius is involved. We'll read the second part in a bit. Um, so, let's see, I need to open up the map. We need to go back to the Green Mountains. Or Green, yeah, Green Mountains. And we need to go to the Citadel, which is right here. And really, my only fast travel option is here. Alright, 290 meters that way. Uh, I wonder if I could jump. Yeah, I was going to try to jump to that hay from where I was, but I think I need to do it from here. Alright. We need the horse. Yeah. Target is there. Whoa. New location discovered the Kyrenaica Roman Citadel. This place is big. <laughs> and we may as well mark some guys. So we're just going to clear out this area for right now. Then we'll worry about the rest later. The catapults. General Agrippa, we are nearly finished with the construction of the catapults. It has been made easier by the abundance of hardwood such as oak in the Kyrenaica region. We have also tried to improve a little on the design. We created two coils of rope made from cow sinew. We have also set the spring mechanisms wider apart, giving the weapon greater firing accuracy. The Egyptians won't know what hit them, literally. Take that guy down, chain it to his friend. Perfect. Who's talking to me? This guy. Right in the crotch. I always seem to hit them there. Hundred drachma. I always like finding that, and apparently I left some goodies down there. Well, I may as well go get them. Oops, can't climb there. That wasn't quiet at all. Oh well. Nobody heard. Somehow. I'm 
missed this guy over here somehow. Take that. Okay. That should be it. That in there is a quiver. So yeah, looks good. Mother sent me to find you. By Iset, is that you, by Echo Siwa? Let me out and I'll help you kill those Roman vultures. Blessings upon you, friend. Thank you. All right, we need to help Kade save the other prisoners, which is easy. We killed everyone, so it doesn't really. Uh, it's not really a struggle to get them out of here. Everyone's dead. Okay, escort... Escort Kade out of the prison area. So we'll just uh, take them all up the hill. Got a whole team. Wait, what's that back there? Is that a Roman? Oh, <laughs> that dude's like, screw you guys, I'm not walking. I'm taking a horse. Hey. Right, is that good enough? I think we have company. The bomb you came from. I saw what Flavius did. How he sucked the life from our people. My mother, Nenet. Is she all right? Yes. Praxila took her to Balagre. Thank you, Bayek. You protect us even this far from the land of our ancestors. Why did the Romans bring you here? To feed their hunger for war and conquest. They have Ballista. We load it with a substance of hideous, burning devastation. Vitruvios, a Roman engineer up at the aqueduct, invented it. Vitruvios? I know this man. I cannot believe you would make something like this. We are free of those Roman tyrants. Okay, speak to Vitruvius, the engineer at the aqueduct. I need my horse. Horse, get up here. Trivious, you've been inventing naughty things. You're gonna have to answer for that. Vitruvius! We need to speak! What's the fuss, my friend? I believed you when you said you cared for the sea ones here. And all the while, there are more at the citadel. Forced to work on a weapon you created. It is not what you think. Walk with me, and we'll get to the bottom of this. Please understand, Bayek, I was not always so focused on architectural wonders such as this aqueduct. As a hot headed youth, I came up with many means of death and destruction. One of those was a Greek fire of sorts. Greek fire? A substance with such potential for unspeakable suffering, I vowed never to produce it. Well, the general is producing it, and forcing sea ones to arm his ballista for a war against their own country. Oh. Right position, Gerech. Oh. <laughs> Curse my pride. I should have burned my notes. General Agrippa must have found them. Then Agrippa must be stopped. Do what your conscience dictates, Bayek. But understand, I cannot be part of a plot against a Roman general, no matter how I may feel personally. Recover the formula, and I will destroy it. 
I will not have the immolation of Egypt on my conscience. Jove protect you, Bayek. Okay, find and steal the formula from General Agrippa. And we'll read the second part of the quest. Having brought Siwa to its knees, Flavius has set his sights on marching into Rome in triumph with Egypt in chains. To bring his plan to fruition, he's charged his general Agrippa with accelerating the war effort in Chironaica. Agrippa has conscripted Egyptian workers to the citadel to work on a deadly flammable formula. Bayek must stop the general before all of Egypt burns. The reward is 2,250 experience, and we need to go take care of him. Or steal his formula. Possibly both. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Well, not too bad. Huh. Oh, never mind. Thought I saw someone down there. I'm like, I cleared this out. Alright, there's my target right next to two captains. This area is off limits. Oh, well, that's a Roman. He's carrying the dead. You're about to join them. Oh, and there's another one, too. Alright, well, I'll take him down first. And now your turn. Oh, we got a big guy coming. Right in the knee. The guy thinks he saw me, but he can't see through there until I pop out and sleep him. Alright, let's get some targets. I don't know where these guys are hiding. There's one. There's two over there. Oh, bunch over there. And that's it for this area. So let's get this cleared up. We'll start with this guy. Two hundred drachma. All right, those dudes are training. That dude's on lookout. Those two have their backs turned. Ah, crap. How'd you see me? Oh, great. We've got problems. Sleep, sleep. Assassinate. Chain it. Or don't. Oh, let's get rid of the big guy. Die, big guy. All right. Let's see. He's occupied. I'm gonna charge up a big hit. Actually, he's. Oh, never mind. I thought he had a spear. I'm like, never mind. We're not gonna do that. But smoke bombs, we will do. Alright, well, that wasn't too bad. I was worried one of them would go for the fire, but none of them did. Which is actually pretty weird. But I'm cool with it. We don't need reinforcements and filakes over here. All right, this one's bugged. Can't get it. Let's get the guy out front. Anyone up there? I don't see him. <gasps> Okay, this area is clear. Except for these trinkets. Now it's clear. Oh wait, and except for this guy. We should probably go get a quiver. Let's see, what am I at? Well, I've got six, I'll be okay. Okay. 
Okay. Let's get some more guys marked. Dude up there. There's one of the location treasures. Lots of guys up on the walls. There's one of the captains. And this area goes higher up, but we'll just clear this out for now, and then I'll mark the next areas, guys. But that's probably good. Might have missed a couple, but whatever. It's good enough. Right, it's a big guy in the middle of the road. Gonna deal with him now. Then we'll chain it to that guy. He sort of saw something up there, but he's too lazy to investigate. Well, actually, he's coming now, isn't he? Is he coming this way? No. He's doing his patrol. Alright, let's go down to that location treasure. guy sort of saw me. Uh oh. Well, what the heck? I was to the side of you. Well, oh, they're both gone. Okay. I guess I'll go get this guy on the wall. I could use a quiver anyway. They've got lots of them. If he would actually loot it. There we go. Oh. I only needed one. Well, never mind. Didn't need it at all. Let's get that guy at the gate. Oh, we got people coming in. Oh, he's the only one that cared. Oh, didn't care for very long. Oh, wait. That's a captain. Hmm. Hi, captain. Oh, he was carrying someone. Alright, one down. looking at and why can't I aim well whatever didn't matter 20 bronze all right so I have oh I still have four sleep darts oh there's another captain they're coming to me that's convenient hmm little bit closer gotcha Sleep darts back. All right, that just leads to another entrance. And apparently there's no treasure down there. Another captain? Huh. Guess they're all on the bottom part.
chariot driver. Oh, don't see me. Hmm, are they staying? Yep, they're staying. Alright, let's let him pass. Then I'll take him down. <laughs> right back to that spot. What is so special about this spot? Well, you can die with everyone else. Oh, got him on the run. 30 cedar wood, and we got a captain up there. Hi, Captain. Alright. Captain's taken care of. Ooh, a legendary shield. Nice. About time I got something legendary. There's so many corpses out here. I am the one man army. Alright, let's see. Let's go back over here. Try to get my bearings. So I was going through this building. This goes up to the second floor. Oh, okay. I know where I am now. So where does this go again? Oh, this is just a storehouse down below. It's got a couple goodies in it, if I remember. Yeah, right over here. And I think that's all that's down here. Yep, that's it. Okay, let's go up. Right, and that puts us up here. Got it. Sleep. Sleep. Gotcha. There's, oh, what are you doing up here, buddy? How did he even... <laughs> he went up the stairs with his cart? How does that work? There's too many people here. We've thinned the population se uh, severely, though. So, progress. Let's get this guy, too. Hi! All right, what does this say? Warning about the mixture. Kade, I am leaving you a warning about the mixture. It is dangerous work and Galios has already managed to burn himself carrying the quick lime. Stupid fool touched it with his bare hands. The resin is also troublesome. It comes from the sylphium plant and impossible to remove it if it dries out. So try not to spill any. The Romans also delivered some pitch, the stuff they used to cover the holes of their ships to keep the water out. Isis only knows what that is for. Your faithful friend, Teddy. Uh, okay, nothing over here. So, what about this building? Seems to have some things. 200 drachma! Alright, here's one of the location treasures. Nice purple. I like the purplies. Oh, I just ran a circle, didn't I? I'm smart. Uh, Alright. So, where to next? Wait, what are those? I don't remember these. I think I forgot them. Aha! Okay, up we go. Alright, well, our target's up there. 
But first, I want to go over here. Let's get some more sleep darts. Eight sleep darts. That was getting real low. I guess we should probably kill this guy up here. Less eyes to find me. Some sort of prison area. There's a note at the bottom. Uh oh. Oh, jeez. He wouldn't re grab it. I don't know how that did so little damage. I thought it was gonna die. <laughs> Anyways. Galinius. These men deserve a burial, but we cannot afford the time it will take to dig their graves. I considered having each man dig his own, so when we work or when the work or heat killed them, they would have a final resting place. But it seemed unnecessarily cruel, even by Agrippa's standards. So just dig one pit and throw them in. It is all we can spare for these prisoners of Rome. You think there'd be more down here? That still sucks. They just toss the bodies down here. But I expected more. Only like four or five. Alright. Uh. Pike, what are you doing? I want to climb back into the room, not whatever nonsense you're doing. Alright, come on. Grab that ledge. There you go, buddy. No, not up there. Right, let's get away from that thing. Alright, now. There we go. We did it. Alright. Um. I guess we'll just head back up this way and then into that top courtyard. Alright, so he's over there. Let's try to avoid his notice for now. I have a fun way to deal with him. But he needs to be by himself, or at least it's easier if he's by himself. All right, one more treasure here. Let's see. Yeah, he's looking over there. All right, let's go over here. All right, that goes down to where I just was. And there doesn't appear to be anything here. Alright, so back up. Whoa, lag! Take your soldiers one by one, Agrippa. All right, I never marked the dudes here, did I? I should probably do that. I should be safe right here. So, let's see. Actually, not that many. There's a couple sleeping in there. Some guys on the wall. Uh, but yeah, not, not much. Okay, should be easy. I'll take those two guys first. And then I think I'll find a way to sneak into this building below. Five left. Now I wonder if this 
goes down into the building below. Because it does go down. But does it keep going down? Actually, it kind of looks like it does. We're in. He's right there, though. Wait a second. Ah, he's gonna sit right at the door, isn't he? Well, we'll come back. Uh, yeah, we'll come back. Might get his attention. I don't want it just yet. Uh, we'll loot this stuff up. After we kill him. So let's see, who do we have left? Not that many. There's a guy over here. Got some trinkets. Alright, good. He's moving. Now I can go get those sleepers. Just fine now. Now, there's one dude in that building I cleared out earlier. I don't know why he's over there now. He actually might be the last one. I think he was on the wall earlier. So he relocated, perhaps? Because I don't see anybody on the wall. Yeah, I think that was him. Alright, let me trap this just in case. You never know. And we'll kill that last guy, and then it's time to get him. I think he's gonna see me over here. No. Didn't suspect a thing. Alright, so we're gonna get his attention. And we're gonna drag him up here. Turns out, fall damage is insane. So we're gonna push him off the edge and it's gonna do ridiculous amounts of damage to him. So I wanna get him like right over here. Alright, so stun him. And then push! Goodbye! Dead! <laughs> and he's got like insane. He's got insane amounts of health too, so attacking him normally, it will take you forever to kill him. So instead, just push him over the edge. And it's hilarious. formula. I should destroy the Greek fire stockpiles. And we got a legendary shield. Two legendary shields in one video. Alright, um, that item went away super quick, so let me show you here. It's Vitruvius's formula. Note from General Agrippa. My men believe they finally have a stable concoction based on Vitruvius's formula above. We plan to use test- use test- uh, we plan to test the batch on the fields near the citadel. We have more than enough with the three stockpiles. Note, do not touch the white powder. It is highly caustic. Alright, so we need to destroy the Greek fire stockpiles, but there's no rush. Everyone's pretty much dead. My strategy in Kyrenaica. Flavius demands that our Kyrenaica legion be the greatest Rome has seen. My ambitions will not let it be otherwise. Every morning, the men will practice with wooden swords and shields, heavier than those used in battle to build up their fortitude. Then make them march 20 miles with a full pack in less than 5 hours. The 5,000 men under my command will be the most disciplined, the strongest, bravest. Only then will, be, will we be ready for Flavius' great plan for us. General Agrippa. Alright, and then we'll get this treasure right here. 
And that starts a quest. We're gonna do that uh, later on. It'll be easy enough to come back in here and, and loot that, so. We'll just wait on that, and I think we left some trinkets over here. Okay. So, stockpiles. Wait, what's this over here? I don't know what that building is. That's just the bottom of a watchtower? Ah, okay. Alright, so, uh, stockpiles. All we need is a torch. Toss it in. I guess I could have just shot it with my flaming arrow. Let's do that. A little quicker. Alright, so those will all burn. Let's go to the next one. One's done. Uh, what happened here? <laughs> uh, interesting. It's like pulling off a Matrix move. formula is in safer hands. Okay, return to Vitruvius at the aqueduct. We can fast travel. You know, with everything else I was doing, I can't remember if I actually completed the location. I hope so. Yep, it's complete. Alright. Uh, to the hay! Nice jump, bike. Sounded painful as always, though. Whoa. <clears throat> bike, did you find it? Did you find my formula? Egypt will not burn today. Or any day, I hope. And General Agrippa? He did not give it up willingly. Ah, he was a good Roman. But he never understood that doesn't mean you cannot be a good man. Flavius fed Agrippa's pride and ambition with talk of empires. I fear the path his supporters have taken will end in many deaths. It will end with their own. But you are a good man, Vitruvius. I've seen that in your words and deeds. I am trying to be. Thank you again, Bayek of Siwa. You are a true protector of your people. Quest completed, and it does not give enough experience for what you had to do. But I got an ability point. Okay, uh, let's go do some more locations. I'm thinking around... Kerke. Let's see, Kerke is down... Uh, over here. So there's Kerke, uh, we have a sink point and whatever that is. Let's go do those two. Okay, up the hill. Retta. A prayer to Ta. Homage to you, Ta, O Lord of Radiance, you, great protector, who watched my husband and kept him safe when others fell. Protect him always, Master Architect. In his exile, grant him happiness. If it is your will, give him love that he might find joy, even without me, though I will always love him. 
You see and know, Great One. You who restores life, restore him. Homage and greatness to you. Happy lips. Statue of Ta, the women of Kirke worship Ta, god of craftsmen and architects. And Ta is going to give me a boost. Thanks, Ta. Appreciate the hand. And that leads me to a sink point. I love that music that plays. It's fantastic. <laughs> Alright, so we found the next location. Oh, and there's a snake in here. Take that snake! Oh, you're still alive. It was a stubborn snake. Alright, desecrated tomb complete. And there's another exit right here. They've got these weird, like, mounds over here. Right? Burial mounds, maybe? I don't know what they are, but it's interesting. I haven't seen these before. And some of them have, like, flowers on them, I think. Yeah. Oh! I never saw this before. Flowers! Flowers left for a patriarch who died heroically at the Kirke massacre. I see. So they are burial mounds. Alright, um, let's do one more location. Near Crocodilopolis. I never got this one. So let's fast travel here. Uh, oh. I was like, what is it wanting me to jump into? I'm not jumping unless I see the target. It's that hay right there. Let's go, horse. Alright, so I happen to know there's a boat behind this building. There's also some crocodiles, but hopefully they'll leave me alone. Ow! What the? Who's attacking me? I'm confused. I'm in the city. Well, whatever. Oh, there's a crocodile. Who is apparently not going to leave me alone. I have a spear just for you. If I could switch to it. Come here. Just for you! Thank you. I needed some leather. Alright, back to my sword. I think I just saw another crocodile in the water. I think. Ah, uh, maybe not. I don't know if I can survive swimming to shore with them on me, and I don't intend to find out. Uh oh. Ah, stay away. I'm on the shore now, I don't care. Wanna follow me over here? Yeah, I didn't think so. Alright. That one's. Oh, jeez! I did not know there was a cobra there. That scared the crap out of me. Alright, come on, cobra, attack me. Oh, man, that scared me. So, uh, location complete. Let's go do an arena fight. Yeah. 
And we are up to Slaver 3. More provocators! So just like on the normal event, this one is super easy for some reason. We want to take down the big shield guy, and then next we'll go for the archer. Give him a heavy. Block. Heavy for you. Heavy for your friend too, if you would get closer. Ow. Heavy for both of you. All right, let's charge up a heavy. I don't remember what's coming, but heavy sounds good. Heavy for you. Ah. What? That was a heavy. How did that not break through your defense? Well, whatever. Dead man. Archer's all that we have? Apparently. Alright, final wave. We got a shield guy. Eat that shield guy. Get behind him. Unleash. Oh man. I'm on a rampage. It's over. One minute and 22, 23 seconds. Two hundred Jackman. Okay, I know we have some new goodies. Some really good good goodies. Just didn't sound right. Some excellent goodies, how about that? Um so nothing there though. For melee. Uh, we have this. We can break that down. But the shields, that's where it's at. We got the reinforced shield. Uh, it's got 903 HP. Four melee resistance. Two ranged resistance. And health on parry. This shield has fended off death more times than its bearer has fingers. And then we have the compendium. 763 HP. 4 ranged resistance, 3 damage absorption rate, and it's got bleeding on block, which is always nice. Wearing this shield sends a tingle up your arm. Memories of foes long dead flood into your mind. A lion's roar echoes in your ears. Must be your imagination. Well, let's try it out. That sounds pretty good. Actually, that's a level 33. This one's a 40. But health on parry, that's never gonna happen. Bleeding on block is good. Yeah, let's let's go with the compendium. I think that's where it's at. Okay, nothing new to craft. We do have a new ability point. Nine points in Master Warrior. And no new items. Okay, we're all done here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.